In this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at solving trigonometric equations that are just slightly more complicated than sine of x equals or cos of x equals or tan of x equals. In this particular question, we're going to solve tan of 2x equals minus 0.2. Now, what's slightly different about this is we normally expect to say tan of x equals minus 0.2. It's just a slightly more complicated expression, but it says actually tan of 2x. So what we're going to notice here, the limits were given, 0 to 360, were just for x, but actually we've been given 2x, so we need to change the limits for 2x. We've doubled x, so we need to double the limits, 720, and 0 doubled remains 0. So as before, first thing we've got to do is find the first solution on the calculator. So if we inverse tan both sides, we get 2x is equal to the inverse tan of minus 0 0.2 which is equal to minus 11.310 so 2x equals the inverse tan of minus 0 0.2 which is equal to double checking that uh, minus 11.310 so it's really important to point out we don't divide by 2 at this point. We want all of the angles that have a tan of minus 0 0.2. If we divide by 2 here, we change the angle and the tan of it will not no longer be minus 0 0.2. So what we're going to do now, we're going to draw a sketch of the graph. Before we divide by 2, draw a sketch of the graph and find all the solutions that have a tan of minus 0 0.2. But we're not going to draw from 0 to 360. We've doubled the limits. We're going to draw it from 0 to, to 720. So drawing in the asymptotes, there's 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, 630, then 720 is there. So 0 there, 90, 180. 270, 360, 450, 540, 630, and 720. Let's draw the tan graph. Doesn't have to be brilliant, but it has to be good enough to be able to recognise the solutions. So there it is from 0 to 720. So this here isn't x values, these are 2x values. So we want all the values that roughly, that have roughly a sign of minus 0 0.2, so I'm gonna draw roughly where minus 0 0.2 is on the graph there. So we've got all these solutions here that are valid. That one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. But notice our first solution, minus 11.310 isn't on there. We're going to actually have to extend our graph to get that, which means also extending this line here. So there's our first solution, minus 11.310. Now notice that the tan graph repeats itself every 180 degrees. So to find the next solution, we can add 180, then the next one, add 180, then the next one, add 180, and so on. So we start off with minus 11.310, add 180. But well, because we've used the answer button, add 180, we get 168.69. So let's start writing these down. So these are 2x values, by the way, not x values. So 2x equals minus 11.310. But that's actually outside of our limits, 0 to 720. So we know that that's not actually going to be a final answer. Then we've got 168.690. 168.690. 0.690, that's this one, this first one here. If I press equals again, it adds 180 on. So 348.690, 348.690, that's that one there. 528.690, 528.690, 528 and then 708.690. 
and we're getting close to our limit of 720 there. If I press equals again, it should be outside of the limit, which it is, yes. So now 2x equals all those values. To finish off, we need to find what our x equals. We're going to divide all of these by 2. So 168.690 divided by 2 equals 84.3. Then 348.690 divided by 2 gives 174 to three significant figures. 174. We've got 528.690 divided by 2, which is equal to 264. Uh, 708.690 divided by 2 gives 354.345, which is 354 to three significant figures. And there's all of our solutions. We've got those two there. So now, finally, making our final answer prominent so that the marker knows what answers we're considering to be final. And there it's done. So for more tutorials like this, go to elevenmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.